Yeah, they're, they're all. <laughs> I, think they're, I think they're all in the locker room. Uh, were you going to ask a question? <laughs> I, I might have to. <laughs> we're joined by South Carolina head coach Don Staley and student athlete Zia Cook. Uh, we can take questions first for Zia, and uh, then we'll take questions for Coach Staley. I'll start, Zaya. Uh, you got a fantastic game. Uh, talk about uh, your performance uh, in tonight's championship game. Um, I just tried to remain focused. I, I think in the beginning, uh, it was kind of hard for me to get shots. Um, but as I continued to play, um, things started to open up for me. So it was pretty good. Over here on the right. Hey, Zaya. Um, how much does this mean, uh, especially after last year, you know, falling short, to come back your senior year? and win another tournament title? It means a lot, but the mentality that we have right now is to win. Um, it, it's all over the floor. Um, that's what we want to do. Uh, so it definitely means a lot, but we're not done yet. They, uh, you, you took, I think you were up by 12 at one point in the first half. They kind of hung tough and cut it to six by halftime. Mm -hmm. Then in the second half, you guys just kind of ran past them. What was the mindset there to kind of take control of the game? Um, just to continue to push. Uh, Coach let us know that they weren't a team that were going to back down. So we knew that they were going to play hard the entire game. Uh, but we just had to make sure we played harder. Um, did the little things to get us to the win. Zaya, I guess they, it didn't seem like there was a real huge celebration after it was over. I know you guys went through it. Is that because you guys have bigger goals ahead? It's definitely because we have bigger goals ahead, but also we're just not that type of team. Uh, we celebrate our wins with each other, um, but we don't really do too much celebrating. Any other questions for Zaya? Okay, thank you, Zaya. You can be dismissed back to the locker room. You have that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll now take questions for Coach Staley. Pete. I'm not going to ask about injuries since David isn't here, but um, does this ever get old, Don? No, nope, winning championships, it never gets old because you, you have to, I mean, we, we, we often have to remind ourselves where we come from. Like we, uh, we used to come to this tournament and we're out in one day and then we, and then the season was over. So it was um, just, just working towards getting to this place um, and once once we're here we're going to enjoy it enjoy it because there were a lot of times in which the season ended prematurely and on, on the sour note on those days in which uh, tw uh 15 uh, 12 to 15 years ago when we weren't competing for championships and and th those weren't fun times but there were times in which humbled you and allowed you to figure things out so you could have days like this to enjoy. The, um, like I asked Zaya, uh, Tennessee, they, they, they weren't going away. They were six points at halftime. What changed in the third quarter? I, I mean, we wanted to win. I mean, we really did want to win. And you know, I thought we just bear down and start playing like we, we, we normally play, just putting possessions together where we're scoring, getting stops. And, I, and Tennessee would not go away. They would not. I mean, they, they actually gave multiple efforts on the, on the, on the rebounding um, side of the ball. Um, and then they, they had players that put us back on our heels. I mean, it was, it was, it was a hard matchup with Horston and, and Jackson. I mean, they, you need to either guard them one-on-one -on -one with some help coming from somewhere and then allow them to rebound the basketball a lot, a lot better. Um, but I just think over the course of 40 minutes and the amount of people that we're able to throw at them, they, they weren't as sharp as they were throughout the entire game. And that's just a, that's just a product of our depth. You didn't go with that depth as much as you usually do tonight. You let the kind of seniors and the experienced players out there. Is it just because you saw it was that kind of game where you needed their 
their smart decision making? Um, I mean, I, I, I actually I know this is probably this team's as a whole last time here. And I wanted, I wanted our seniors to kind of play it out, to give them a little extra minutes. Um, I mean, Raven starting um, short in our bench because she's, um, she's one of the first people off the bench. Um, so we probably played one less person. Breezy, I wish I had the opportunity to play Breezy a little bit more, but I also wanted to, I wanted to send our, our seniors off in a way that they wanted to go off with them being in control of it. Um, but Breezy will get her chance to, to, to be that, that one, you know, in the, in the very near future. Right. Over here on the left. Hey, Coach, uh, Zaya Cook had three steals at midcourt. It looked as if she was a step quicker than Tennessee's guards. Did you count on that coming in, or was that surprising how well she played uh, there defensively? Well, I mean, with Zaya, Zaya wants to win, like, more than anything. And, I mean, she finds her way impacting the game um, on, on both sides of the basketball. So I, didn't, I really didn't anticipate her getting as many steals as she got, but – when she had that, you know, that fire in her eyes, she was going to make something happen. So she digged in a couple times, um, and I was happy for her because she needed to get some easy buckets under her belt. So she needed to see that ball go in, and then once it went in, um, she was able to knock down some threes, and it helps her just defend, have a quicker step defensively, knowing that she's impacting the game in that way. Back to Pete. Don, what's the next? Uh week or so look like because, I mean, it might be two weeks before you play another game. Right. Um, we're, we're all for, you know, for Monday through Thursday, spring break for us. Um, I got to go to recruiting on the West Coast on Tuesday, so that, there's my break. <laughs> In the back. Um, with Kiara, how, how'd that go last night and what's kind of her timeline going forward? Do you feel good like she'll be able to play in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, yep, yep. Kiara actually will not have a spring break. She will be back at the ranch getting that ankle right. I mean, she was moving on it today. Um, and, I mean, it, it was could, – could we have pushed it? Probably, but, you know, we, we, we felt like Raven could step in and some of our other experienced guards could could – fill the void until she's able to get back. But I, I don't think we win a national championship without her being able to um, play, you know, as healthy as she can be. Don, since we always ask you this, things like this, the fans who came up, you know, it's a big number that they had here. I know Tennessee had some fans, but what does this say about the group that follows you? Was it saying, three weeks when maybe they are all back here yep. for the same thing. Um, I mean, it's amazing. Like, it's amazing. And I, I, I know that playing here in Greenville is advantageous um, for us, you know, but, I mean, we, we draw a big crowd. They, they come in droves, um, and they continue to come as the weekend gets closer to Sunday. And then, you know, to hear them today, like, during the introductions, I really – Took my took my time to re really just just be in that moment to hear it, you know, and it's quite incredible when we went on our run to hear it. It, it really felt like home. It felt like Colonial Life Arena, and I'm, I'm so happy for not only our our players and our program, but our our fans. Like they've they've been ride or die throughout, you know. Every loss, you know, they coach us up, you know. Every win. They probably wanted to make some adjustments, um, but they're they're super proud of their team and the product that we put on the floor, and it really helps. It really helps us. Um, it helps us in recruiting. It helps us, you know, just know that we we got that, you know, that twelfth player that that impacts the game, and and also it helps that we we win some of those social media battles. <laughs> No, no, I haven't. I mean, when it, when there were some close games, you know, they they got some comments, which you know, I I, I embrace them. I embr they're 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 educated um, comments, so they're not like ignorant comments. They're like, hey, may, may, maybe we should have done that, because they they know our team so well, uh, and they know 
other team so well. They're just really they're into women's basketball, um, and we're fortunate to have them as as part of our fan base. You go to David on the right. Donna, Leah, Zaya, and Bree, all, you know, all had big games today. But just what does that say about their status in that class who have come here? And I think they're now 12-2 and two with three tournament titles in this building. I, I mean, I, I could not be more happier for that class. I mean, because, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a standard we had prior to them coming. And it was a high standard. But when that class came on campus, they took our standard to another level. Like there are classes that that drop your your, your standard, but there this class is, I, I haven't met very many, haven't interacted with very many classes that take you to another level as far as class, culture, winning, um, sacrifice, and really really mean sacrificing. And uh, I know uh, LA did not did, wasn't part of the all tournament team, um, but here's how they work. Aaliyah just gave her her all tournament trophy because she deserved it, like she deserved it. And this is the type of this type of people we have in our program that really understands how it works. And they, they only want the best for each other. So I'm just super happy that she's able to share uh, some of her hardware with, with LA. On the front, Gabriella. I was hoping you could speak a little bit to Kira Fletcher. I know that she didn't play tonight, but coming in, you know, maybe just this season, maybe not having as much on the point guard standpoint and what she's meant to this team. Someone told me just now that y'all dedicated this game to her. I was wondering if you could speak to that as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously when, when you know, Kiara tried everything possible to get back out there. I mean, she got treatment all night um, and then got up and tried to test it out. And she was moving pretty good, but then, you know, overall, what would that, you know, what would that do to her long term? and actually short term and, and having a tournament, NCAA tournament starting in two weeks, um, we, we, we chose just to, to keep her out. And I, I just told her that we, we have enough in the room. They're not gonna, they're not gonna you know, allow this opportunity to slip away. They, they're gonna win it for you. So rest assured, I know that you can't play, but the, you keep the bigger picture in mind if we're, if we're so fortunate enough to come back here you know, to win our our first and second round and come back here, you get a, you you will get a an opportunity to do it on the on the biggest stage. Go to the back, coach. With the history of women's basketball as context, any special significance that this SEC championship came over Tennessee that these players got to knock them off? No, I mean no, but I mean I mean you you look at the the story program of Tennessee. And you've seen what they've done in our in our conference. I mean, they reign supreme on this conference, and still, no matter, you know, they're and they're gonna probably reign supreme when I'm long gone as far as coaching, because um, I, I I think I saw a graphic where they got 17 17 appearances, 17, 17 titles, not even appearances, like titles. I, we won't reach that unless it's somebody else that comes in after me and and, and tear it up. But, you know, we won our first against Tennessee. We actually won our regular season first against Tennessee years ago, someone I think our, our media told me. And then for us to win it here at the SEC tournament, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's full circle, but we, we certainly want to still pay homage to Coach Summit and the, the way that she, 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 she's a light for, for all of us, the, the 13 other teams or you know, the 12 other teams, including 13, including Tennessee, and creating a standard in our, in our conference. So we're never going to lose sight of that. We're going to enjoy our success with, with our team. But, you know, I'm always going to keep in mind what, what they've meant to our conference, and it's, and it's the standard. Any more questions for Coach Staley? All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Thank you Coach. Thank you.